I envision evergreen. I envision evergreen. I envision evergreen. As a district that prepares students for the jobs of tomorrow. As a district that provides 21st century learning tools. As a place where every student can succeed. Can succeed. Can succeed. But we're asking students to learn and succeed in a number of schools that have not kept up with the times. Some of our students are learning in schools built more than 50 years ago, and they're starting to show their age. Some schools have aging inefficient heating and cooling systems that get too hot in the spring and fall and too cold in the winter and are costly to maintain. Some schools, which opened in the 60s and 70s, have designs which carry noise, making it hard for teachers to teach and students to concentrate. Many schools were built before the widespread use of computers and aren't designed to accommodate 21st century learning tools and teaching techniques. At older schools, there's a safety issue. Entrances open into outside hallways, instead of forcing visitors to check in with the school office first. And many students are learning in costly to maintain portable classrooms away from the rest of the school. But we envision an evergreen where every student has the chance to succeed in schools designed to help them reach their full potential. That's why Evergreen Public Schools is asking voters to approve a bond measure that will replace, enlarge, or improve every school in the district. The bond measure will replace five elementary schools, Sifton, Image, Ellsworth, Marion, and Burton, Weiss Middle School, and Mountain View and Legacy High Schools. In addition, the district will build a brand new elementary school to handle student enrollment growth near the intersection of Northeast 162nd Avenue and Northeast 39th Street. The bond would also make it possible to build a wing at Heritage High School to get students out of portables on the north and east side of the school. The construction of a new Burton Elementary School on land where the current district headquarters sits would lead to the construction of a new multi-purpose campus combining the specialized programs of 49th Street Academy, Transitions, and Legacy High School, and the relocation of district offices. To help future-proof existing buildings, every school in the district will see some sort of improvement from roof replacement and new heating and cooling systems to expanded covered playground areas at elementary schools, improved athletic facilities at the high schools, and improved safety measures at all of our schools, such as redesigning the main entrance to create safer, more secure schools for students and staff. The bond also calls for the installation of new lighting and sound systems in all of our high school auditoriums and new instruments for our music programs to replace aging ones that have seen decades of wear and tear. These bond projects would employ hundreds of local workers, which benefits our local economy. So, why now? One of the major reasons is cost. Right now, interest rates are at historic lows, while construction inflation is on the rise. Just last year, it went up 20%. So the longer we wait, the more expensive it will be down the road as our buildings continue to age and need improvement. But Evergreen won't be paying for this alone. Evergreen Public Schools will receive an estimated $95 million in matching funds from the state if the bond passes and impact fees from new local development. Evergreen Public Schools plans to save money with the installation of energy efficient heating and cooling systems, which will use less energy and require less maintenance. Design costs will also be lower, as the district is working with architects to come up with a modern, technology-friendly school design template that can be customized to fit unique site conditions and can be oriented to maximize natural light. These school design templates also help the district streamline operations and maintenance needs, saving money in the long run. Another reason for urgency is to reduce overcrowding and cut in half the nearly 400 portable classrooms in use throughout the district. So, how much will this cost? The formula is complex, but basically, for a median-priced home assessed at $250,000, the bond tax rate in 2019 would be $20 more per year 
than home and property owners are currently paying for past bond measures. But when combined with other statewide education taxes, your overall school property taxes will actually drop in 2019. To get more information on the bond, visit the website on your screen. There, you'll get to see the numbers, what the bond would mean for the school in your neighborhood, and design concepts already in the works. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. Putting students first. Putting students first. Putting students first.